In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add an email address to the safe sender list in Outlook on the web using Microsoft 365. This process is essential if you want to ensure that important emails never end up in your junk folder, potentially causing you to miss out on vital communication. So, let's dive right in and walk through the steps together. First, you'll need to head over to the Microsoft Outlook website. Open up your browser and type in the URL to reach the official Outlook page. Once the web page loads, you'll find the Sign In button, usually located towards the upper right corner. Go ahead and click on that to begin the sign in process. Next, you'll arrive at the sign in page. Here, you'll need to enter your login details. This includes your email address and password associated with your Microsoft account. After you've filled in your credentials, hit the Next button to proceed. This will direct you right into your Outlook dashboard. Now that you're in the Outlook dashboard, direct your attention to the top right corner of the page. You should see a small gear icon, which is the Settings button. Click on this to open the Settings menu. It might take a moment to load, but once it does, you'll want to look for and select Mail. This is where we'll be making the necessary adjustments to include your desired email in the Safe Senders list. After selecting Mail, you'll see several options listed, and what you need to focus on is Junk Email. Click on that to move forward. Here, you'll find all the settings specifically targeted at dealing with junk mail, which is exactly what we're interested in. You'll see an option labeled Safe Senders and Domains. This is the area where we want to add the email address that you wish to keep out of the junk folder. Under this section, you'll find a space for you to type in the email address that you want to whitelist. Carefully type in the email address to ensure there are no typos. Accuracy is crucial here. Once you've added the email to the list, there's one final step to make sure these changes take effect. Saving your settings. Look for the Save button, which is usually at the bottom of the settings page. Click Save to confirm that the email address is now part of your Safe Senders list. And there you have it. You've successfully added an email address to your Safe Sender list in Outlook on the web. This change will help keep crucial emails from mistakenly landing in your junk folder, ensuring you stay on top of all critical co uh, correspondences. Thanks for following along with this tutorial, and I hope it helps you have a smoother communication experience with Microsoft Outlook.